What is going on, pool deck people? I hope you're doing well. Uh, it's late July. It's Jeff with Encore Coatings here. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, exposed aggregate pool decks. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time uh, because I feel like those people out there with exposed aggregate are just dying for a solution because the big three is what I call it. The big three reasons that they call us is that exposed aggregate gets hot, it gets sharp to walk on over the years, and they're also a little outdated a lot of times. So cool can accomplish, you know, it can tackle all three of those big three things. And that's why I wanted to do this video. So what I did, since I couldn't find a pool deck with exposed aggregate that I could find time to go out there and do the video, I made my own, okay? A little like two foot by three, three foot uh, simulation of an exposed aggregate pool deck uh, by way of, you know, pouring epoxy in there. And then, you know, I'll show you a little bit about uh, how I made it, but I will tell you, it is the exposed aggregate from hell, okay? It's absolutely brutal to walk on. It's so sharp, it's so contoured. It's, you know, it's the worst case, worst case scenario for sure. And uh, if, you know, if your pool deck is anywhere close to that, you know, you, you might just consider getting it ripped up, but I doubt it is because, I mean, you'll see, it's just brutal. If you were to run across this thing, you know, it, you'd be leaving a trail of blood and toenails everywhere. It's just brutal. So uh, I think the cool did a fairly good job. It certainly made it better, but just to, to preface this video, that thing is just absolutely gnarly. So um, you're going to see, you're going to see uh, that I recommend three coats on exposed aggregate. So you know, estimate your material quanti quantities accordingly, but that's what we're here for. So 888-776-2242. If you have an exposed aggregate pool deck, give us a call. We're here to walk you through it, but uh, cool is a great solution for these things. And we have a lot of happy customers out there who have transformed their exposed aggregate into something they can actually enjoy. Uh, so uh, thanks again for watching and I uh, hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a, a really cool video that I've wanted to do for a long time and it's all about exposed aggregate or pebble decks or washed concrete, river rock, that it goes by a lot of different names. But these things were pretty common back in the day, 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s. There's a lot of them still out there and they still do the install new aggregate decks still today. But there's a lot of them out there that are worn down and I've been trying to find a pool deck that I could do a video about this on but i just can't find one that i can get to and do a video so i made my own and i'll show you what i'm talking about what we have here is a box then i poured epoxy in it and then i got a big bucket of this river rock locally and really dusty rock i didn't even wash it off i should have but i poured epoxy in here poured epoxy in here it's clear you can maybe see it right here okay and then I just loaded it up with the rocks and I loaded it until rejection. So I had a lot of loose pebbles that I eventually scraped off of here. And what we're left with is just the rocks that are embedded in the epoxy. But it's a pretty good simulation of what you may be dealing with. Okay, so these uh, this is definitely a minority as far as, you know, pull deck surfaces go. But I think this video is well justified because... Uh, these pool decks have three big things that people are looking to fix. <clears throat> First of all, they get hot. Second of all, after decades of pressure washing and, and weather and degradation, foot traffic, chemical attack, all that stuff, they get sharp to walk on because the cream of the concrete is eroding, leaving the pebbles overexposed and they get sharp on your feet. And I will tell you that this right here is very sharp, okay? Hope you like my socks. But I will tell you, this is not comfy to walk on. And if I was barefoot, it'd be even worse. So it's very sharp, uncomfortable to walk on. And the third thing is that a lot of people just think it looks outdated, okay? So if you have an older house, an older ranch home that has one of these, these are big out in Texas, Mississippi, and, and really all over the place. But if you have an older home and you're looking to spruce up the aesthetics, there's nothing more impactful than doing the pool deck. That will just, it just sets the whole thing off. It just changes the whole environment. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with the cool pool deck coating. If you're new here, this is, uh, this is our place. Might give you guys a little tour later, but we 
manufacture the cool pull deck coating okay and this is the the most logical solution when it comes to resurfacing a lot of different pull deck toppings but definitely exposed aggregate or washed concrete or the pebble surface so uh, i'm going to show you how to do this get a brand new surface in any color you want using the tools you see here i mean brushes rollers painters tape drill and i'm going to show you how to activate the, the bucket to any color you want i picked a tan color from sherwin williams i'm going to show you that but what i've done is i taped it off here so it's a pretty good simulation so you're going to see me cutting in first just as you would on a real application okay i've taped off this can be considered the side of your house or something and i'm going to cut in the edges then i'm going to roll out two coats at least two coats and, and that brings me to my next point if you have one of these that is certainly sharp to walk on you may consider three coats of cool um, i always float that idea out it's like because it's going to encourage a more comfortable surface simply by filling in the low spots a little more so let's get to it i'm going to mix this bucket up and uh, we'll jump in
Hey everyone, so it's um, about 48 hours later. I wanted to give this thing a good amount of time to dry because as you could probably tell, that first coat was super thick. The second coat was pretty thick. And then the third coat went on, you know, I'd say the most modestly and um, eat the easiest. So if you have one of these things, first of all, I wanna say this is not an instructional video. This is simply a demonstration video of what you can do with your exposed aggregate pool deck. If you want an instructional video, I have a step-by-step -step that includes surface prep and everything you could ever wanna know. So I'll link that here. Uh, but I wanted to give this a good amount of time to dry because there's a lot of thick spots that stayed kind of gooey and soft um, even after the third coat, which uh, there was gooey soft spots even after my first coat. I Therefore, I put my second coat over top of something that wasn't necessarily ready to have a second or third coat. But just for demonstration purposes, I wanted to get this video done. That's what we did. So again, this is not an instructional video. Um, so if you have one of these, give each coat, if you're putting it on thick, if you have a really highly contoured exposed aggregate deck, give each coat ample amount of time to dry. The typical protocol with recoat times on our product is not necessarily going to apply with this special kind of surface. So this might be something where, um, you know, first coat one day, give it a whole day to dry, second coat, so on and so forth. Just be a, you know, use good judgment there, feel it out and things. But I'll show you what I got. I got, I went to the paint store just now and got some, a roller, because I'm gonna put the third and final product on here. It's Seal Back Clear Sealer. I'm just gonna do uh, two coats of this. But let's take a look at how it looks now um, without the sealer. I took the tape off of it. And look at that. Let me adjust this camera real good. Look at that. So it's obviously filled in the low spots and things and again guys i want to say this is the exposed aggregate deck from hell okay this thing is the extreme case scenario and you would never ever ever want to walk on this okay because it's just not a real exposed aggregate deck it's just a simulation so which is good because it, it it kind of throws us the worst case scenario and shows us really what this product can do i'll tell you man all these all these low spots that were thick they, they're just locked in now and th that's the difference between a paint or a stain and a sealer compared to this you know true coating so look at that pretty cool so i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put a couple coats of sealer on here but you get the uh the gist of it and uh, I'll let you know. So again, this is the clear, clear sealer called Sealback. Two thin coats. It's kind of cloudy today, so I might allow for a couple hours in between coats at least, but uh, stay tuned.
Sounds like some help. Sure? 